the town of Body. It's a small nice town. It's got a farm, houses, a factory, and a central townhouse. It's even got a defense system. Much like your own body. Sometimes, along with these guys, little green invaders like to come too. Most of the time, these little Boy, green invaders you know. usually just reach the gate. Da. The little green men are invaders. They are attacking the town. But a row of outposts defends the town of body from any invaders like these guys. They are not back to a hostile environment outside the skin and are easily killed. Let's watch and see their inevitable demise. The little green invaders make it past the row of outposts and into the town. That's where these guys come in. They're the town's defense system. Commander. They fight for the town and they help protect it. Yeah. Even though the invaders can get past the hostilities yeah. of the outposts, the invaders can't get in. That's because there is another defense system surrounding the outpost. The wall. This acts as a But sometimes, like our own skins, the town the skin of the town of all the outposts. When that happens, okay. these little green invaders have a pathway in. And they're it able to get in the town. And causes much damage. Oh, to the Sometimes the invading armies get past our hostile outer defense. That's what our defense system is. Often it is a pitched battle between our defense system and the invading armies. Sometimes civilians are caught in the middle of the fight and are killed by either the invading pathogens or some of, them, or some of our own cells. This row of outposts would often create a hostile environment for any invading army, but sometimes the invaders are able to survive in this environment. See, si. maybe even thrive. That's when the trouble begins, especially if these invaders want to get inside the town. The tiny cut will allow these guys to enter this way that they need to get si. in. These defenders are always no, I... standing by them. This time, the invaders have made it in, and can now start attacking the macro. Sometimes, the macro fails. Today's battle was a success. The defenders fought off the invaders and kept their town. Sometimes, what happens is that the invaders are just too strong or numerous and they can easily wipe out the macrophages. Let's watch this battle. As you can see, the invading army has engulfed the macrophages and are now beginning to consume it. the drummer units. When they see that their comrades in arms are not doing so well, they call on the help of the men inside. The artillery. They are the creme de la creme. They will destroy any invading pathogens. can take out the invading army very easily. Let's watch the ensuing battle. Attack! 
Oh, what the car? Sometimes, during all the commotion and hubbub, normal everyday cells are targeted. Aluta. Don't worry though. This genocide is With the help of these suppressor cells, though, the genocide you just saw did not take place. Instead, these normal everyday people were saved from the bullets of these killer cells. Sometimes, some cells don't take part in any of the fighting. These cells that you see right here did not do anything in the previous battles. Instead, they just stood by. Before you criticize them, I just want you to know that these are memory cells. Instead of fighting, they remember who the enemy is. That way, next time the enemy shows up, they can give them a good butt whooping. These memory units, although they don't do anything in the first fights, prove to be very useful in the next fights. This invading army is getting cut down like grass under a lawnmower. Although originally it had the upper hand, the pathogen was defeated by these memory cells. Although these two groups of soldiers look very different, they are still very similar to each other. Both are riding horses. Both have armor and shields. Both have weapons. In fact, they are so similar that if this group was shown to the memory cells, they would be defeated just as quickly as this group, if not quicker, because the memory cells have had experience. In fact, Let's put this to the test. Angus. These invading soldiers, just like the last ones, are easily cut down. In the defense of the town of body, we have seen many different types of men. We have the general defenders, or macrophages. We have the specialized defenders, or the killer cells. We have the memory defenders, or the memory cells. We have the suppressor defenders, or the suppressor cells. And last but not least, we have the helper defenders, or the helper cells. These men, the macrophages, try to wipe out all invaders. Sometimes they win, sometimes they win. Today, they're gonna win. Sometimes, when the enemy is too strong, these drummer boys call other soldiers to the fight. The invading army is usually destroyed when the drummer boys call for help. They're killer cells. They destroy any pathogens that can't be taken out by macrophages. Let's watch. Sometimes, average everyday cells get caught in the fight, oui. but when these suppressor cells come in, they stop the killer cells from taking out average everyday civilian cells. These men, the memory cells, don't take part in the battle the first time. Instead, they wait and they watch. The experience and the knowledge that they gain from watching is invaluable. Boy. In fact, let's demonstrate. Because the men are well trained and the learned from previous battles, they are well defended and are able to destroy all the invading pathogens very easily. Let's watch. The end result is a bloody but victorious end. 
Now that the town of Body has defended itself, it can now start to repair and grow. In fact, it's because of this vast and huge army that the town of Body is able to survive at all. If we were to take away these valuable men, the town of Body would cease to exist. This has been Bilal, Amandeep, and Khawaja in A Town Called Body.